In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect a 10 mini pro to software control. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to properly set up your ATEM Mini Pro or any other model and connect it to software control. You will be able to manage all of your presets, macros, and various different options. First, of course, make sure that it is properly connected to your PC or a laptop. So ensure that it is receiving enough power, ensure that the power cable is properly plugged in, and you will be able to establish a connection between the ATEM and your PC or laptop. You can use a USB-C cable, which is a very popular choice. So plug one end of the cable into the ATEM and another one into your PC or laptop, or you can use something like HDMI. It is down to personal preference. So just make sure that everything is properly connected. And as soon as the connection is established, you will be able to download the software. So to actually download the software, all that you have to do is visit blackmagicdesign.com. On this website, go over to support, click on attempt production switchers, and you will find the latest downloads. So download for Mac OS or Windows under the latest version released. Now you might see this pop up. So if needed, fill out all of the details, or alternatively, you can click download only at the bottom left. Once you download this, you will receive a program titled ATEM Setup. As long as the ATEM Mini Pro that you want to use is properly connected to your PC, it will be automatically detected. So if it, it doesn't appear here, double check the connections. Through this button here, you can set up the connection. And if you click here, you will be redirected into the actual software control. Inside of software control is where you will be able to manage your program, see the preview, transitions, and so on. There is a lot to go over. And even though I'm giving you a basic rundown on how to properly connect it to the software control, I cannot teach you everything available here. You should take your time and carefully read through all of this and learn how to use it because there is a lot of things to go over. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect a 10 Mini Pro to software control. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.